Hi, this video is a part of machine learning from scratch playlist. In this playlist, I explain different machine learning algorithms implemented from scratch using Python. You can download the relevant Python files from the link given in the description of each video. Note that I do not code along, rather I make use of pen for explaining the tricky parts of the code so that you people can read the notebooks and understand them yourself and of course re-implement them yourself. I'm expecting my audience to be well versed with machine learning general understanding and they just need little hints for implementation them from implementation the algorithms from scratch. Now, in this video, I'll explain development of ridge regression using gradient descent. I hope that you know about ridge regression, uh, which is uh, similar to linear regression where we have input features linearly combined with their associated weights. However, to mitigate overfitting and variance in the model, ridge regression also tried to learn weight by minimizing the sum of squares of all the weight values in addition to mean square error. Now, this is done uh, to not allow the large weight values for any single feature. Doing this simple trick really decreases the overfitting. Now, our goal is to learn the weights using gradient descent, which basically works by taking derivative of the error function with respect to weights of each feature. The derivative found will be used to update weights in each iteration. So this is like simple enough. Let's jump to the notebook and I'll explain there. Okay, so we first linearly combine weights and features together. So this will be the linear regression prediction. Then we find the cost function. In simple linear regression, we had mean square error where prediction minus output whole square. But in ridge regression, we also add the L2 part, L2 regularization part, which is simply adding the squared weights together. This alpha is basically a regularization term which we use to control how much regularization do we need higher the value so it will uh, it will uh, decrease more and more uh, the values of weights so in a way uh, it will increase the bias lower the value uh, it will increase the variance it has indirect relationship with the variance higher value means lower variance or uh, lower variance and lower value means higher variance okay so the cost will be equal to mean square error plus l2 part okay then once we have this cost function and then we find out the derivative of cost function with respect to feature. Now, the derivative of mean square we already know is like 2 predicted minus output into that ith feature. The L2 part derivative is also very simple, 2 into alpha into ith weight. We add it, we find out the derivative. Now, we have to just implement it. It's really simple enough. Let's start with importing query create, which is actually scikit-learn and pandas. Okay, so we have home data. As we have worked with linear regression, the same data was there. So we import the numpy. We convert the data frame into numpy array. So this is a linear combination of features and weights. Okay, so we compute the derivative. So this is different from linear regression because the cost function will be different. As we have already explained, the cost is some, uh, this is mean square error, and this part is like L2 penalty is actually alpha. Okay, so the derivative of this mean square error part is 2 into some error into feature i. Okay, and the derivative of this L2 penalty part, part is 2 into L2 penalty wi. So summing both, we get this. But remember, we don't have to uh, apply this L2 penalty uh, uh, to uh, the intercept term and we don't have to find the derivative for intercept term so we look at the feature if it is constant so it means it is the intercept term uh, so it is the weight of the for the intercept term so we we, we, we just apply the mean square regre uh, mean square error derivative which is a simple linear regression derivative otherwise if the feature is not intercept term so for that uh, we add both the linear regression derivative as well as the l2 penalty derivative now this 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 function will be used to find the derivative for each feature this, this function this is the main function Let's try to understand that. So we have feature metrics, we have output, initial weights, this is learning rate or step size, L2 penalty, how much we want to use the L2 penalty and then maximum iteration. So the default value is 100. We initialize the weights, we look at the maximum iteration and we predict the output value linearly combining the weights and the features. We find out the error and then for each feature, we look if the feature is constant, which is, which means if feature is intercept term. So if i is equal to zero, so it means it is the first feature. And first feature we have explained is we, we have defined as intercept term. So the feature is constant is equal to true. Otherwise, uh, the feature is constant is equal to false. So we, derive, we, we find the derivative of each feature. We multiply the derivative with the step size and then subtract it from the weights. And we look at the maximum iteration, we subtract it by one. And this iteration goes on for 100 times. At the end, we return the weights. So this is basically ridge, reg ridge regression gradient descent, which is totally same. The only difference is this function where we are adding this penalty, this term for other than intercept uh, feature. I think this is this is easy enough. Now, I have already explained the visualizing effect of L2 penalty. Uh, what is the effect of L2 penalty on bias and variance? So this is exploring the same thing. So you can look at it. And then we are also running this multiple regression with L2 penalty, which is uh, basically using multiple features instead of single feature. Again, this is the same thing. We are just increasing the number of features. I hope so. It makes sense now.